Hi everyone, welcome to Doodle Days. This is episode 9. I just wanted to share with you guys another project that I'm working on. It's just a, another quick sketch. This one is actually inspired by my zodiac sign, which is Taurus. I'm an April baby. <laughs> um, yeah, and I was actually born on the cusp. For those of you who don't know what that actually means, is I was born be like on the line of two signs. So I'm actually a Taurus with Aries tendencies. So when I look at horoscopes, I have to look at both. Um, anything, you know, dealing with that. And I am really interested in that. If you do know me, you know that. Um, I actually do have some things on my blog um, that actually um, I do. If you're interested, check out my blog. The link is in the description below. And I've been doing it for a great many years, and actually since I was young. Um, and, you know, I, I do it for fun in my downtime, and I'm actually thinking about dropping my prices again on that because I really don't want to make a living off of that. Um, and I like doing it for fun, so I think I'm going to drop my prices. So if you're interested, definitely check that out. Um, and I would love for you guys to subscribe here if you haven't already. And, well, if you liked what you see anyway. And um, definitely leave me a comment. Let me know if there's something that you want me to talk about or something you might want to see, and I'll do my best to, to get around to those. Here I'm doing kind of a little bit of a fire aspect there because the Aries tendency has a little bit of fire to them, um, whereas uh, Taurus is an earth sign. And I'm not going to focus on that too much on this video, so this way, um, if you're not interested in that, you don't have to hear about it. Um, but if you are, definitely check out my blog. <laughs> um, yes, I am enjoying this one. This one is actually um, more of a zen type tangle. It's uh, really uh, repetitive, so I'm just kind of repeating the same pattern over and over on this. And I really do like how it came out. Um, and I kind of made it like a dream catcher, as you'll see. I do have some threads hanging at the bottom with some beads on it. So it's kind of like your hopes and dreams. If I were to title this piece, it's probably what I would call it. It's uh, the hopes and dreams of me, the <laughs> Taurus with Aries tendencies. Um, yeah, I really do like this one. But to get on with it, I hope you guys have been having a wonderful fall. Um, if you're in the United States or the eastern part that's actually experiencing their fall season, it's my favorite time of year. I love it. And it's October. It's, you know, it's a wonderful, wonderful month for me because I love Halloween, um, as you all know, I'm sure by now. Um, this is where the video, my, cam uh, my camera died. So I just realized and started it back. So sorry for the clip, the blip right there. I don't know how to do smooth transitions yet, but I'm hoping to figure that out here soon just in case I ever have this snafu <laughs> happen again so this way it's not such a jump for you guys but um yeah sorry about that but um yeah I don't even remember where I was sorry <laughs> the train of thought is gone out the window it's bleeding um but yes it's my favorite time of the month Halloween is my favorite holiday of all times um, I love all holidays, don't get me wrong, but Halloween is my favorite. I love the decorations, I love um, the food, because we do a full-blown Halloween. Um, this year it's going to be a little bit different, unfortunately. Um, the kids are, most of them are away pretty much at college. My son is away. Um, my daughter is busy in college and my two younger sisters are actually in college and my um, pretty much my two oldest nephews are in college and they're away they're out of state too and that leaves 
my niece who she's in college here within state with my daughter actually and my youngest nephew who's 16 and um, I'm not sure if they're gonna come over but it's extended to the family we usually keep it family but my daughter I think is going to be away on a field trip and she's gonna be back just in time oh my gosh I'm so excited she'll be back just in time for the Halloween get-together and hoping that um, a few of her friends are going to be able to show up because she's hoping that they can and we're gonna still do the camp out weather permitting um, and permitting whether the kids get back too late from their trip or not on the day and um, yeah we'll do the cookout around the fire and then have some you know spooky stories and then maybe some either games or maybe some uh, scary movies or whatnot inside and then if they want to crash outside in the tents they're welcome to because we got plenty of room on the property so they can pick and choose where they want to be usually we keep them close to the fire pit so this way if they want to keep the fire going all night they can stay warm and where the kids are all of age um, that will be usually staying overnight um, they'll probably have a adult beverage um, not too much maybe one or two I usually do um, like a hot scotch which is delicious it's um, not actually scotch it's hot chocolate and butter shots and it's it's like butterscotch hot chocolate is delicious um, <laughs> so I'll usually do that for them and let them have that with a little bit of whipped cream and some chocolate morsels yes um, my mouth is watering just thinking about it um, yeah and then I do breakfast for the kids in the morning so that they have a warm meal and then they just kind of grudge around and hang out and just talk for a little while before everyone goes home in the more and the early morning early afternoon usually it's more like early afternoon so this way if they want to do lunch I can do that too otherwise you know they usually go before then but yeah anyways I'd love to know your guys thoughts what you guys do for the holiday for Halloween if you do anything and leave it below I'd like to hear and thanks for subbing and I hope to see you guys in the next one I'll talk to y'all later bye